In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit videos using the brand new Adobe Premiere editing app. I'm gonna cover all the basics so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. Now, before we dive in, if you are watching this and you are a content creator, I do wanna let you know that we have a YouTube starter kit with free thumbnail templates, training videos, and more. If that interests you, the link is in the description. And with that, let's jump into this. So to get started, I'm just gonna click new from photo library to look at my videos and find what I need. Here's the video I wanna use. So I'm just going to click on that and I could select any other videos I wanna add, but I'm just gonna add this one for now. I'm just gonna click next here and that is going to add it into the editor. Now at the top, you have a button here to go full screen to watch your video sideways. You also have the option here to change the aspect ratio. Right now it's on auto, but if I wanna switch it to a vertical video, 9 by 16, or I can do 16 by 9, which is going to be the YouTube format. Get your play button, back button here. If you make mistakes, you can undo them. And this is something I've not seen any other editor have. You can grab this and actually shrink the preview screen so you have more space to look at all the different audio and B-roll layers. So this will be handy later on as we get deeper into the editor, but just so if you wanna make more space to see all your clips and edits and things like that, you can easily shrink the preview screen by just dragging this. Then down here, we have the timeline. We can easily scroll through it to look at our video. We can also select clips and hold our finger down to rearrange them. Obviously I have one clip, but if I had more, I could rearrange them by just holding my finger down and then letting go and that'll change their position. With the video clip selected, you're gonna find all the settings for that clip at the bottom. And then when you don't have a clip selected, you're gonna have your main settings here to add more videos and images to your project, to add music and audio, or to add titles and captions. Now to trim your video clips, there's two different ways you can do this. The first is just select any clip and you can grab either side of that clip and just hold your finger down and drag. And you can drag up to the point where you're about to start talking and you'll know where that is based on these audio bumps at the bottom. I can tell there's no talking here and then this is where the talking starts. So I could just drag up Look at the preview screen where the audio bumps are and get it lined up just like that. But I do find that to be a little less precise. So what I like to do is use this white line known as the playhead and I'll just drag up to right where I'm about to start talking like so. And then I like to click the split button down here, which will cut the clips in half. So now this right where the video starts is its own clip. And this beginning where nothing's going on is now its own clip. So I can just delete that beginning part where nothing's going on. And now my video starts here. Let's actually preview it real quick. All right, here we are shooting some video on the iPhone 17 Pro Max with no microphone. Hopefully Premiere Pro can audio enhance this to make it sound a little bit better than the built-in microphone. And we will test that out here in a bit. And now that I'm done with that sentence, I can click the split button again, scroll past this part where I'm thinking about what I'm gonna say, make a little mistake there. So I'm gonna skip past that. And then just gonna line this up. I might even pinch with my fingers just to zoom in a little bit closer, just so I can be a little more specific. Perfect, and I can click split again, and then I can zoom out and just delete this clip in between both of my sentences here where nothing's going on. And there we go, we've just combined two sentences together, and then I can trim off the ending here. And like I was saying in the clip, you can actually enhance your audio with AI inside of this editor. So I can click on the video. We are gonna scroll over to enhance speech. So we're gonna click on that and turn this on. And I'm gonna do enhance speech to let's say 60%. You can also affect the background noise as well, which is pretty interesting, but 60% is pretty good. And I'm gonna do that across all clips here. So I'm gonna click on this one. We'll enhance speech here as well. We're gonna switch that to 60 and we'll give these a few seconds to process and let's listen to how these sound now. What I'm actually gonna do now, uh, the first half of this sentence is going to be no enhancement, and then the second part is gonna be with it enhanced, so you'll really be able to tell the difference here. So let's click play, let's see how well it enhances it. All right, here we are shooting some video on the iPhone 17 Pro Max with no microphone. Hopefully, Premiere Pro can audio enhance this to make it sound a little bit better than the built-in microphone. And as you can hear, it definitely gives it a more podcasty type feel. It really takes out a lot of the, the, the echo potentially in the room. Super excited to explore this, especially with background noise too, being able to remove that. So super handy feature 
built in here. And with the basic edits out of the way, let's get into some of the ways we can enhance this video to make it better. Now, let's go ahead and start with music, which you can just click here to open up the music stuff. You'll find voiceovers in here as well. And Adobe does have some built-in soundtracks in here from their Adobe stock platform. Now you'll also see this notice down below that by tapping the plus button, you agree this asset is a content file and your use is governed by your agreement with Adobe. So if you click the learn more here, it's gonna take you to this whole license information section. And without boring you with all the legal mumble jumble on this page, essentially you're not getting like a downloadable PDF license that says, yes, I have the right and authority to use this song with this project on this date and time. Like you're not getting something like that that shows that I am allowed to be using this music on this channel. And so if you don't have that, what happens when one of these artists or whoever they're working for files a claim against your channel because you're using uh, their music? YouTube is going to want proof that you have the rights to use this music. And if you can't give that, you're they're going to claim your video and be able to take your AdSense money from your YouTube channel if you are monetized. So me personally, not as confident using this soundtrack music, unless you're just doing this for fun, like then don't worry about it. If you are serious about adding music to your videos, I personally use Epidemic Sound. I've been using them for years. And what makes them different is you attach your social media channels inside of Epidemic Sound so they know not to put claims on your channel. So that way you can use the music and they're like, no matter what, this channel's covered and we have proof that they're covered because they've been you know, paying since this date to you know, however long they've been paying. And even if you cancel later on, like you still have the proof that yes, I had the rights to use this music because I posted this video during this time frame when I had this subscription. But if you wanna check them out, I do have a free trial affiliate link, should get you a 30 day free trial, which yes, all the music you use during that free trial is covered. And they have a huge library of different music tracks that you can use in your videos. And it's also really easy to find tracks with the different playlists and filters that they have. But yeah, if you wanna check that out, it's in the description. And I actually have some of their music already downloaded on my phone, so I'm just gonna to go to my files here and add that. And from just clicking on my files, I've added the song, and then I can also go through here and adjust the, the volume here so it's not too loud. And let's take a listen to that with the music. All right, here we are shooting some video on the iPhone 17 Pro Max with no microphone. Hopefully, Premiere Pro can audio enhance this to make it sound a little bit better than the built-in microphone. Sweet. Next, let's look at adding titles and captions to our video. So we just got to click over here and you'll be able to add text or captions. For text, you can easily type out something like maybe tip number one, say use Adobe Premiere just for fun. That check. Use our fingers to resize it, drag it anywhere on screen. And then you can also go to style here and adjust how that's gonna look. If you want there to be a background, no background, you've got font adjustment here. If you want to pick a different font, I like Futura, it's usually one of my go-tos. And then you can go and change the color if you like. You can change the layout. So if we want more width there, we can do that. So we can have that. And then if we back out here, there is also animation so if we want that to fade in and fade out we can have our text fade out and we can drag this anywhere in the timeline where we want that to pop up you can choose the length by just dragging like that and now we'll have this easily pop up and and fade off just like that now we will delete this for a second because i do want to show you the captions built into here you can just click on this and click captions and you can create from speech we'll click create and there we go we've got captions added to our whole video now these don't look great but we can easily click on these and click style and change them. So they have some presets in here. I'm gonna choose the purple here because I kind of like how that looks. Or actually, let me go with the, the white, kind of like the white. That's pretty nice. Let's change the font. All right, think that looks good. We also have the colors here that we can adjust if we want to, or the background. And then we can also adjust the layout. So if we want it to be longer, or if we want the, the captions to be more compact, we can do that. Uh, I'm gonna leave it longer just because this is a long form video. And then let's just see what it looks like if we click play with the captions here. All right, here we are shooting some video on the iPhone 17 Pro Max with no microphone. Hopefully, Premiere Pro can audio enhance. Oh, there, it made a mistake. So I can click edit caption here. Hopefully, Premiere Pro can audio enhance this. There we go, easy correction. And I like how it's highlighting the letters too. Yeah, and that's super easy, free captions to add to the video. 
Now, one final thing worth looking at is adding things like B-roll in. So if you go to videos and images here, you will have Adobe stock images or you can generate stuff or add your own stuff in. Now you'll notice here when you go to Adobe stock, it says search free content. So they're marking this at least as completely free without a special license or thing like that. So if I search something maybe like computer, just to find someone maybe working on their computer, I could easily click on this. Oh, there we go. There's the our, our little warning there for Adobe stock. So I think the difference might be compared to music is YouTube definitely has a an audio thing where it'll pick up copyright content. I feel like Adobe would have to like actually watch this and, and mark it. And I'm just gonna grab this and drag it up. So that way it is above our video here. And then I can also trim this. And even though this doesn't make a lot of sense, here's, I'm just gonna click play just to show you the different layers here. All right, here we are shooting some video on the iPhone 17 Pro Max with no microphone. Hopefully Premiere Pro can audio enhance this to make it sound. So there you go, now we have text, you can have B-roll, you can have music going, you can really build out these layers. And if it gets more complex, again, you can, Drag this up so you have more audio space, more video space there to, to be able to see everything. And then once your video is done, just click the share button up here and you'll be able to export this. You can use 1080p, 4K, high quality. Just click export video. It's going to save it to your phone and then you can upload it to YouTube or wherever else. Now, if you do want me to go more in depth and show you some more advanced tips that you can do inside this editor, comment and let me know and I will do a follow-up video on this. And if you are a content creator, don't forget to check out that YouTube starter kit and I hope to catch you guys in one of those places.